have begun. It started. Coordinated attacks on metropolitan areas. The first wave knocked out all the power. Then the second wave hit. An earthquake strong enough to shake the entire planet. Cassie! Okay, I got you. With the third wave, disease spread across the world. By the fourth wave, they were among us. This is our world. This is our home. Yes. Our only choice is to take it back. Now let's take a look at a cloud chamber and see if you see any correlations to what we are seeing in our skies. individual particles. In this case, it's getting hit with millions of electrons all at once. And we'll hit it again. What I'm doing is leaving the Van de Graaff generator on and uh, periodically removing the shorting electrode from the top. And I'll remove it now. That's a burst of electrons striking the active layer of the cloud chamber and creating a cloud. Here's what happens if we leave it on and turn it on high. The stream of electrons from the tip of the sharp electrode is blasting away at the active layer of the cloud chamber. That's not a stream of gas entering the cloud chamber, it's actually the electrons coming off the tip of the electrode. Call it whatever you want, cloud formations, whatever, but these objects, many of them from the system, it's been here for years. It's continually forming. got what would it appear to be a uh, I don't know whatever you want to call it a triangular cloud or formation <laughs>
hydrogen energy exists every time we go out in the day and look at the sun, we see a big ball of burning hydrogen gas. If you look at, go out at night and look at the stars, those are also uh, billions and billions, to quote Carl Sagan, of burning plasma engines, you know, fusion engines. We've always followed the stars for direction. So what is causing these waves? this object appears as if it's becoming closer, larger, and more defined. seconds, 12, 11, 10, ignition sequence starts, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. daily, but we're told that it's this or it's that. But what are we really seeing, each one of us, and told that it's not what we're seeing? that treadmill keeps you on a little treadmill like a little you know guinea pig or whatever and um, and you can never get off and they know that and that's where they want to keep you because if you start using your mind if you start really meditating and, and activating your chakras raising your vibration you become extremely dangerous 
And the more of you that do that, the more dangerous you become. So there, there is this game going on here on planet Earth. The dark side wants to keep the top on, the light side. And, and basically they're pushing it up. It's like steam rising in a pot and the dark side is pushing it down. So there's this battle going on. We're getting sort of clued in if they paid attention. Now the media, okay, the media is telling you the truth. And this is part of what the Illuminati are all about. This is part of the principles of how they operate. Okay, they, they believe that if you're too dumb to get the truth, if it's presented to you, that you don't deserve the truth, and therefore you can be killed because you're not worth, worth having around. They are also sort of paying the piper when they try to tell you what they're going to do before they do it. What they believe is that that abs sort of um, um, absolves them of any uh, responsibility, any karmic debt, because in essence they put it out there, they told the truth. The fall foliage season, in fact, it's been warmer than normal up and down the entire eastern seaboard. These are terrible factories, aren't they? Yes. You're pumping out greenhouse gas. Now you're dead. You're changing the air, temperature, and the whole ecosystem. We're just finishing what you started. What would have taken you 100 years or double 10? Just speeding along your own last. Like you spent Cal a lot. And a lot of green, right? If you can't tend to your own planet, none of you deserve to live here. This is our world. This is our home. Our only choice is to take it back. Thank you for watching.